Hello everyone, this is Naidu. Welcome back to a great online training. And in this video, I'm going to cover about numerical functions. In the last classes, if you see, I have covered a few character functions, how to write it in SAS. In this particular session is mainly, we try to cover numerical functions. How to use a numerical variables and what type of functions we can write on it and how we can able to get a uh, uh, the things like uh, how to calculate your mean, median, standard deviation, like many more stuff we are going to discuss about it. For this, let me just start my SAS software to give more details on it. Before we advancing further, be aware that this video contains a task, its conclusion. Please watch the whole video and answer the task by commenting below. In the numerical functions, mainly I can say arithmetic functions, how we can able to write it, we'll see one by one. For that, first of all, what I'll do is let me open my SAS tutorial. Right. So there are some functions like arithmetic functions. In SAS, there are many numerical functions. The numerical functions also divided into different categories. We'll try to see about arithmetic functions, what it is. Like int, round, seal, floor, abs, fact, log, lag, log 10, and mod. These are all comes under arithmetic functions what we have in SAS. What is the purpose of these functions? What we do, what we try to do by using int function, it will try to give an integer value to you. Suppose imagine if you have a value x equal to 34.45, the int function, it will round up the value to 34. Round function, it will give a value 34.54, it will be round up to 35. So that means it will round up to the next uh, largest integer, you will get it. Seal function, it will try to give the, suppose if you are giving a value as x equal to 25.25, it will round up the value to the 26 because seal means next largest integer it will take it. Not only 25.25, even 25.001 also will be considered as a 26 only. Okay. So because it will take the next largest integer. We are coming to the floor function 25.25, it will be round up to 25. Not only that, 25.999 also will be uh, bring that value to 25 because C floor means next largest, in, uh, next to smallest integer you will get it. Seal means next largest integer, floor means next smallest integer you will get it. ABS function, it will try to get uh, the negative values into positive. Suppose if you have a minus 10, you want to convert that into plus 10, we can apply a function called ABS. Uh, so that absolute function, it will try to convert your negative value into positive. Fact function, it's nothing but factorial, 5 factorial, 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1, whatever the value, you will get that, that comes under your 5 factorial. Log function, it returns a logarithmic value, log 10 base 1, log 20 base 2, something like that, you will get it, the logarithmic values. In a childhood, we try using a logarithmic table to see the value of your log 10 value, log 20 value, something like that. We can directly use a log function here, automatically you will get that log 10 value, how much it is, log 20 value, how much it is, you can able to calculate it. There is a function name called lag function. The name itself, it is a lag. Lag means it's a slow. What it is slow, the previous record will be carried forward to the next. Suppose if you have a value of x, uh, first one is 20, second one is 30, and uh, another one is 40. So y equal to, if I'm writing lag of your x, so then the first record is missing and in my y, so second record of mine is going to be my first record of my x. So that means the first observation carry forward to next. So by each and every record, it is going to be happen. I'll ex explain with an example in detail so that you will get an idea what is lag. Log 10, log 10 base 1, log 10 base 20, log 10 base 30. So if you want it, uh, logarithmic values, if you want it, you can get it. Earlier, it's an individual log, but now you have a log 10 base value, log 10 base 20, or log 10 base 30 or something like that. If you want to get it, even that is also possible. There is a function name called mod. Mod is nothing but a reminder value. It returns a reminder. Suppose imagine if you have a value of, imagine 12.89, I'm taking it here, divided by 2, to 6 is 12, 0.89 is the reminder. So mod is always try to give a reminder values to you. 
So these are all the different arithmetic functions what we have in SAS. Int, round, seal, floor, ABS, fact, log, log 10, and lag, and as well as mod functions. Let's take an example, try to play all this on this particular uh, data. So you can just see here right, here right now, data, your data set name a func. I have an input data set name x, uh, card statement, 12.89, 15.5688, and 34.89, 32.14, minus 10.32. I'm trying to create a data set name with the name of a func. I have a one variable with five observations containing a data set. Uh, ready with me in work library, go to the data set. Uh, a func data set, this is how it is created. X, 12.8, 15.6, 34.89, 32.14 minus 10.32. Perfect. So now what we try to do is I try to write it uh, data a func1 is my data set name set a func uh, it is a new variable I'm trying to write it uh, int of your x. You want to get the integer value of your x, uh, you can get it. Uh, R1 round value of my x uh, if you want it, uh, you will get a round of your x. Uh, R2 means uh, round so round off your x with one decimal if you want it suppose if you have a i have a 12.89 but i want it uh, around with one decimal only required instead of 12.89 i want it 12.9 only because 8 will be converted into 9 as you already know that uh, decimal after that value will be going to the next largest integer instead of 12.89 so if you want to reduce to one decimal then it is going to be 12.9 you will get it uh, by just using this particular function that is going to be uh, what I can say the log function I'm writing it here. So ABS means absolute value function I'm writing writing it. Lag means log of my x value whatever it is I'm getting it. So log 10 of your x if you want you will get it. So log uh, uh, lag of my x and mod of my x with a comma 2 I have written I can write 2 or 3, 4, 5 I can write it anything. So what basically happening you know let me try executing and run it. There are plenty variables will be created right now. Take the first one, 12.89 is the value, integer means, generally integers doesn't have a decimals, so that 0.28, 12.89 uh, uh, will be round up, to, not round up, the decimals are gone, that's it. Even 12.999 also, it won't round up to 13 or something, because the decimals will be removed by applying a function called int, the decimals are gone, so 12 you will get it, 15 you will get it, 34, 32 and minus 10 only you will get it. Round up to one decimal, so the 12.89 round up to, so uh, uh, round up to decimal right now, first one. So rounding up to 12.89 will be round up to 13, 16, 35, 32 and minus 10 you are getting it. Perfect. Round up to one decimal, instead of 12.89, I'll round up to 12.9. 15.56 will round up to 15.6. 34.89 round up to 34.9. 32.14 round up to 31. So 32.14 will round up to 32, minus 10.32 round up to minus 10, 10.3. So if you want to get a even round up to one decimal, I'll get it. Instead of that, I'm applying a function called seal. So 12.89, next, next largest integer is 13, 15.56, next largest integer is 16, 34.89, next largest integer is 35, 32.14, next largest integer is 33, minus 10.32, next largest integer is minus 10, not minus 11. The reason is minus 11 is smaller, minus 10 is bigger because minus values are negative, right? Reverse. So whichever the small one, that's the big value. Seal means next largest integer. The next largest integer of my data is minus 10, not minus 11. We are coming to the floor. You take this as an example, 12.89 will be round up to 12 and 15.56 will be round up to 15, 32.189 round up to 30, 34, so you just see, and 32.14 will round up to 32 only, minus 10.32 will be round up to minus 11 instead of minus 10, because next uh, smallest integer is minus 11 in my data, I am getting it. Next one is absolute value, ABS function, I'm writing it. So negative values will be converted into positive. 12.89 is 12.89. So 15.56, I'm getting 15.5688, 34.89, 34.9. You won't see any difference except the negative value. Negative value of minus 10.32 is converted into positive of 10.32, you're getting it. When I coming to the logarithmic value, 12.89 log value is this one and the next value log and next value log and all. Minus values doesn't have any uh, logarithmic values, it's missing. 
even log 10 base value log 10 base 12.89 log 10 base uh, 12 uh, 15.56 uh, the values again the logarithmic table negative values doesn't have any logarithmic values so it's a uh, missing here you can see that lg3 means lag function the previous record is carry forward to the next 12.89 is in the first record there is nothing to be carry forward but the 12.89 will be carry forward to the next record 15.56 will be carry forward to the next record so 34.89 will be carry forward to the next record my 10 point 32.14 will be carry forward to next record uh, next uh, record you can get it like that by just using a function called lg3 mod function mod means reminder so what is that reminder 12.89 by 2 to 6 uh, 0.89 is the reminder 15.5688 divided by 2 to 7 uh, so it is going to be 14 1.5688 uh, 34.89 divided by 2 so it is going to be uh, 27 ja, it's a uh, 217 ja, 34.89 is the remainder 32.14 is divided by 2 so that is going to be 16.26 uh, ja, 13 uh, 32 gone so it's a point uh, one zero uh, one four zero you are getting it minus 10.32 divided by 2 to 5 is a 10 uh, point three two is the remainder so this is all about uh, arithmetic functions what we have in sas so i just try to explain here any questions on this one you can ask okay so we know what are the different character functions what we have learned so I have explained all the functions in detail so let me just give you a small task on it the task is use the compress function so we need to use the compress function create a data set named as a raw data so that means data your data set name is raw data and you need to create this particular data set Use a compress function to remove all non-alphanumeric characters from the data set, uh, a data variable and as well as create a new variable named as a clean underscore data. Understand? So there are some underscores, some special characters are there. So I, I want to remove all the alphanumerics. Okay. So alphanumerics in the sense, so there are some special characters we have in SAS. You can see that SAS underscore iPhone and as well as exclamatory mark all those things you need to remove it so how you can remove it by using compress what is the syntax you will write it to remove those so try to answer it and i'll see and i'll upload this particular answer in the comment section and as well as you can see uh, in this particular below description of this particular video so once you are done with your program try to write a correct program in the comment section so that i'm very much happy that you understood my concepts well and so that uh, I'll get the boost also if you are clicking on the like and as well as before you move on click on the subscribe to channel so that it will uh, give a boost for me for uploading more videos like this in future. Thank you for watching. I'll meet you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Please click on the like if you are interested on this particular video and as well as subscribe for more updates. And if you have any questions or comments, please write it in the comment section. I'll take care. Thank you.